Once you've logged into Digication, you're going to see your home page displayed. At the top of your home page is your My ePortfolio section. If you've created an ePortfolio before, it's going to be housed here. In order to create a new ePortfolio, you're going to select the blue plus button in the upper right hand corner of that My ePortfolio section. In the setup window that appears, you need to specify a couple of details about your ePortfolio in order to create it. The first is a title. Now, when you're generating a title for your portfolio, you want to make sure that it's descriptive in terms of the content or the purpose of the portfolio. And if you're creating this ePortfolio for a class, make sure to check with your instructor to see if they have any specific requirements for the title. You'll notice that as you type that title, a URL is automatically generated underneath it. This URL is how you're going to share your ePortfolio with anyone outside of the DePaul community. So for example, if this portfolio is for a client or a job application, this URL is what you would share with them in order to give them access to the ePortfolio. You'll see that the URL automatically matches the title that you've typed. However, you can always come back and change both your title and your URL in the settings menu of your ePortfolio at any time. Once you've typed in a title, you also have to select a template from the template library. If an instructor has created a specific template for you to use, they're going to have shared it with you and it will appear in this template library. If an instructor has not shared a specific template for you to use, we recommend that you use the Create from Scratch template. It's going to be pretty bare bones and easy to customize to look exactly the way that you'd like it to. Once you've selected the template, you can then select Create at the bottom of the screen in order to create your new ePortfolio. You might need to wait a second for the ePortfolio to get created. If that's the case, you'll get an email once the ePortfolio has been generated. Once it's been created, this is what my newly created ePortfolio looks like. Up at the top of the ePortfolio in my navigation bar, I automatically have one home page, as well as a text box in the header for adding a title to your ePortfolio. Once you've got that portfolio created, your next step is to choose the settings for permissions and sharing. And for more on that, you can see the next video in this series.